Let's do a problem where drawing a tree diagram will be helpful in order to solve the problem. Here are the facts for the problem. 5% of males that play football, baseball, or basketball in high school will play in college. Of these, 1.7% will play professionally. Of these, 40% will play professionally for more than three years. 0.01% of high school athletes go directly to play professionally without playing in college. The question we want to answer is, what is the probability that a high school athlete will compete in college and then go on to play professionally for more than three years? Let's start the tree diagram. Where does the tree diagram start? The tree diagram starts with all male high school football, baseball, or basketball athletes. What can happen to those athletes? They can play in college or they can not play in college, and we'll call that play in college complement. What is the probability that a male athlete will play in college? We see that that probability is 5%. If the probability that they do play in college is 5%, what's the probability that they don't play in college? It's going to be 1 minus the 5%, or 95%. Where do we go from here? If they play in college, they may go on and play professionally, or they don't play professionally. Play professionally complement. What is the probability that they do play professionally? It says of those that play college, 0.017 or 1.7% will play professionally, which means that 0 .0.983 do not play professionally. Remember, this is a conditional probability. It's the probability that they play professionally given that they played in college. This conditional probability is the probability that they do not play professionally given that they did play in college. Where does the tree go from here? If they, if they played professionally, then they may play for more than three years, or they play professionally for less than or equal to three years. What, what are those probabilities? It says 40% will play professionally for more than three years given that they play professionally. So this conditional probability is 0 0.40. This must be 1 minus 0 0.40 or 0 0.60. What does this conditional probability represent, this 40%? That represents the probability that they play for more than three years given that they played in college and they play professionally. This 60% is the probability that they play less than or equal to three years given that they played in college and they played professionally. The last fact tells us that 0.01% of high school athletes go directly to play professionally without playing in college. So 95% of those that play football, baseball, basketball in high school do not play professionally, but of those, some will play professionally and some will not play professionally. What's the probability that a person who goes directly from high school to play professionally? That probability is 0 0.0001. So the probability that they do not play professionally is 0.9999. Now let's see if we're ready to answer the probability statement. What is the probability that a high school athlete will compete in college and then go on to play professionally for more than three years. This is a joint probability. It is the probability that the high school athlete plays in college and plays professionally 
and plays for more than three years. How do we get a joint probability from a tree diagram? We have to multiply the probabilities in the tree along the way. So the joint probability of all three of those events will be 5% times 1.7% times 40%. That probability is 0 .00034 or 0.34%. So the probability that a male high school football, baseball, or basketball athlete will play in college and play professionally and play for more than three years is only 0.34%. Let's answer another probability question about this tree diagram. What is the probability that a high school athlete will play